are definitely at Disneyland Paris. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, yeah, first time here. Let's check it out. Looks like everybody has to enter in through this building. Let's let's see what's inside. Oh wow. This is kind of cool. Brown Derby, Schwab's Pharmacy. This is fun. Oh, they have a goofy Santa up there. <laughs> oh wow, this is cool. This is a cool indoor area. This is fun. It looks like on the left is just a huge store that runs the whole length of the building. And on the right is just a whole bunch of restaurants and stuff. Wow. Pretty cool. Hang outside now. I think this is like their hub. So this is where all the different lands connect. Uh, and there's Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse statue up ahead. Park just opened about 15 minutes ago. No, actually longer than that, like 30 minutes ago. Crush's Coaster apparently is a 70 minute wait already. So we are headed over to do the Cars Land ride. I think I know what it's about, but let's, let's double check. Ah, they have a Toy Story Land. So the lines at Toy Story Land are actually kind of small right now. Uh, so we're gonna do those rides first and then the Cars Land ride. Because, you know, why, why not do these small rides first? Because they're small rides. There's no point in waiting a long time for small rides. Uh, first is going to be Parachute Drop. And if you've seen our Hong Kong video, they have this exact same ride at Hong Kong. Here are what the trash cans look like at Toy Story Land in Paris. In case you're curious. On the inside, they have some cool toy soldiers. A little base. As you wait in line, pay attention. When told to enter the training ground, you will walk, not run, to your parachute. Before sitting down, secure all large items in the storage crates. Safely secure all smaller items on your person. Before sitting down, secure all large items in the storage crate. Safely secure all smaller items. It's exactly like Hong Kong's version. Um, and it also had the instructions in English and French, which is kind of cool. Moving on. We're now waiting for the Slinky Dog Spin Ride. I think it's called Zigzag Spin. And the queue is like made out of Lincoln Logs, so that's kind of fun. Looks like the game instructions for the Slinky Dog are in English. Looks like an exact copy at Hong Kong, although I'm pretty sure this land came first prior to Hong Kong's expansion of Toy Story. Alright, here we go. We're gonna board one of the vehicles. Speed and legs in the vehicle at all times. And keep an eye on your little one. It feels exactly like Hong Kong. It was a very short ride. Very short indeed. Probably not worth it if uh, it's a long line, but you know, maybe a 10-15 minute line is worth it. We have a fun little Rex over here as well. Pretty cool. Heading into the store that they have here in the Toy Story Land, but it looks way smaller than the Shanghai or Hong Kong stores. Now they do have some cool hat merch, gloves, but I mean overall it's a much smaller store than the other Toy Story Lands we've been to. But wow, that store super tiny. You'd think they'd have a large store with lots of Toy Story stuff, but not at this park. We're heading to the Cars Land right now, and I absolutely love these gates that they have. They have them very well decorated. This one says to infinity and beyond. 
whole bunch of the tiny aliens over here. Super adorable. And these are what the Cars Road Trip trash cans look like. Apparently their Cars line is called Cars Road Trip. They have a laugh and go food truck over here as we enter the land. It's a small food truck. So this is what the entrance of the ride looks like. Welcome, drive on in. It's a five minute wait, but it looks like a walk on. A whole bunch of cars steaming on these walls as well. This looks like it could be an absolutely huge line. Look at all these rows. Whole bunch of rows. So this is the ride vehicle, a giant tram. Crystal just made the joke, finally, when the tram is a ride. And it is indeed here. interesting thing that happened on it and it has a disaster canyon park um I, I, a lot of uh universal studios can yeah. ride when you go in and have like the earthquake bit that earthquake bit they had that hollywood studios at disney world uh before they tore it down for galaxy's edge so it was nice to be able to experience it once again but other than that i mean there's only one interesting part on this ride if it's a super long line don't do it no. but uh that but part but if it's a short line go ahead yeah. I mean, why not? I like trams in general, and now there's a tram ride. So. Exactly. Waiting to do a photo pass, a magic photo pass. And it features a Martin over here, which is Mater. I wonder why they call him Martin, but uh, he's dressed up for the holidays. Uh, insert the photo here, by the way. So this is what the photo looks like, in case you're curious as to what the magic shot looks like here. My number one complaint about this car's line is there's no bathroom here. 
Uh, and there wasn't a Toy Story either, so that kind of sucks. It feels like a, a very, you know, not well thought out land. Just kind of just put together real quick to make this seem like more of a theme park. But uh, yeah, moving on, looking for a restroom. So this is what the entrance to the Ratatouille section looks like. It's in this big, you know, monkey tube. We just bought Premier Access for Remy's Ratatouille. It costs 24 euros, so it's kind of on the pricey side. However, it's worth it when we we don't have much time. And this is what the inside of their queue looks like. This is a single rider line. This is the Premier Access line. And it's nice that both lines get to see Chef Gusto. Here's our ride vehicle. So I love their exit of the ride more because it opens right next to Chez Remy, which is their restaurant. It's pretty nice, but look at these lights. Very adorable. Okay, Remy's Ratatouille. It seems exactly the same as ours, except for the ending scene, basically, when you exit. Yeah, and there's one other thing that I noticed. I don't know if it was just not working for us today, or if it is actually a difference. But I did notice getting splashed with water, and I did notice the actual heat. I noticed the smell of the oven, but not the actual heat. Good points. We'll, we'll probably ride this again sometime later in the trip. We have a few days here, but uh, moving on. So wait, this is what our side of the entrance to Toy Story Land looks like. So the Ratatouille side has Gusto up there. And this is what their fountain looks like. So, because in France, in Paris, it gets really cold, sometimes the water freezes, and when it freezes, it destroys pipes. So I assume they're not running water right now, and instead they have it decorated for the holidays with plants and stuff inside of it. We're entering the Ratatouille store here. Ooh, check out this hat they got. This is different. Look at that. That's a different hat, we don't have that. Oh, they have a tiny Remy chef outfit for a kid. Look at that. Oh, that's adorable. Now we do have these hats and- At least we did. I haven't seen them recently. They might be sold out maybe. But uh, we also have this Remy plush, I believe, along with this one. Well, actually, this one says Disneyland Paris, so slight difference. And of course they have Remy mugs like we do and shoulder pals. Now this is something we don't have, it's a jacket that says Bistro Chez Remy, Disneyland Paris. Pretty cool. They have a Disneyland jacket, some other merchandise, some decoration up top. Here's another Disneyland Paris jacket, 45.99 euro, so rather expensive. Finally found some Disneyland Paris exclusive Remy merch. It's a decent looking shirt, it's 25.99 euro. They also have this mug with the same design. You know, it's a good weight for a mug. This one's $14.99. So they also have a cookbook here. It's a Disney in general cookbook. Um, you can see, you know, it has multiple Disney characters on it. So it's not just Remy, they just have it turned to a Remy Ratatouille page. Um, how to make actually Ratatouille, I think. They also have some magnets over here. This is actually cool. I'm very petite chef. And they also have a cookbook over here. Another one. Oh, they also have a small serving tray over here. It's kind of cute. Along with a postcard, a little pencil with Remy on top. All right, so we got this at one of their restaurants here. They're like little walk-up restaurants. I have no idea how to pronounce it. I'm not gonna even try. It has cheese, what looks like potatoes, maybe a little bit of ham inside of it. Let's give it a try. It was pretty dang good. It's very delicious. It costs six euros. Most of the prices here have tax included. So if something seems a little pricier than usual, it's because it probably has tax included. Uh, but yeah, six euros, that's a good deal for this. Here's a better view of what one of these shops looks like. You know. It's a tiny little shop that kind of reminds me of the Epcot Food Festival. And they have a menu outside. The menu says what it is in French and English, in case you're curious. 
and tax is included in all these prices. Still found a new trash can, by the way. Toon Studio. And it looks like we're entering Cars Land again. Tiny Tire Tower. Say that five times fast. And we have some cars steaming over here. It is kind of random though, because you have cars and then you have Nemo, and then you have like a, a cartoon section over there, Toontown. It's a Jesse meet and greet. Cool. Just pointed out that this feels very confusing. It says eat, and it just it points to nothing. There's nothing there. But I guess maybe there's a cart there, because I do see like electrical outlet boxes there. But uh, nothing right now. So we're gonna give this ride a try. It's called Quattro Ruse Rally. It looks like it's like a Mater Jam. Let's go. They got the piston cup there. Radiator spring sign here. Ah, this is a hippie zone. Overall, I think I prefer the radiator springs at Disneyland California Adventure. This one just seems too spread out all over the place. So this ride, they don't want adults and children riding together. So like two adults have to separate if you have children. And then they don't want four adults total on the ride. Look at that. They got a tiny rock over there. It, it's a rather tight fit here so I'm glad Chris and I split up and we're doing different rows because uh, my legs are too long for this ride. If you're tall, you have to like have your legs go sideways because uh, there, there, there's not much space underneath here. Like Crush's Coaster is one of these uh, 40 uh, you know spinning rides and they have a tiny model of it up here now we're not gonna do Crush's Coaster today but just look at how ridiculous this model is <laughs> oh my gosh one of the reasons why we're not doing Crush's Coasters right now the line is so long it's like 90 minutes long just jam-packed with people so yeah we're gonna do it another time in the morning we're in line right now to do Aladdin's Flying Carpets of Agrabah. It's, uh, I think it's called Tapis Volant here. Okay, here's the line for Crusher Coaster. It actually goes around Aladdin's Flying Carpets, I believe, behind this wall. And then there's Crusher's Coaster's building over there that the line leads to. I think this is actually one of the best carpet rides, or any ride of this type, yet. Like, look at the theming of this queue. And then you also have this, you know, huge wall behind it to add to the theming. To make it seem like you're soaring over Agrabah. No, th this ride is pretty amazing. I'm surprised the wait isn't longer. It's posted as a five minute wait. There's like a genie director there. That's kind of cool. What a smile. Carpets ride was pretty fun. Uh, apparently the theme of it was uh, the genie was filming some sort of show and he wanted participants. And so that's why the genie was there filming. Look at this. Screen monitors over here and you can get a selfie with Mike Wazowski. And that's Mike with one eye. That's pretty cool. So we're back inside this main building as we're gonna be exiting the park soon. But we're gonna go through the gift shop first and see what they got in here. So it looks like they have a whole bunch of these pillows. Captain Marvel, Iron Man. Crystal found some Groot ears. Th those are pretty unique. Uh, I think those are only at this park. Yeah, I've never seen them before. Pretty cute some of the shirts that they have. 
Chewbacca, save the resistance, be a hero. Here's some of the other Star Wars merchandise they got. Some more shirts as well. It's pretty cute. Selfie Disneyland Paris. That's adorable. I just decided to look up and I'm glad I did. There's so much going on above us. This is a pretty cool place. And look at behind the counter, they got Egyptian stuff. Alright, we got a few things and we're gonna check out now. One of the icons of this park as we exit this giant building is this water tower with Mickey ears. You can only see technically one of the ears right now, but trust me, the other ears on the other side. All right, so we're all done here. It is a short day here. We did a lot of the rides. Some of the rides though had way too long of a line, so we're gonna come back and do them in the morning. Um, and by the way, you're allowed to take your mask off for pictures and stuff like this, as long as you're socially distanced from what we've gathered here. Right, and this is how it is for right now. It could change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but other than that, like masks are required the rest of the time you're in the park, uh, which I I'm fine with. But it was a good day at the park. Crystal got a new pair of ears. She's pretty excited about that. <laughs> but yeah, we had a good time, you know. Definitely get here early if you want to do this park because some of these rides get bonkers. They, they get crazy long lines. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's it for today. Uh, we have a lot more videos of our Disneyland Paris trip coming up, including Captain Jack's Restaurant, a specific Pirates of the Caribbean themed restaurant that they have here. Uh, so yeah, see you later. Au revoir. <laughs>